family is fed up tonight with the mess left right in their backyard. They say Wolverine Pipeline Company did some work at least a year ago and left them with a yard full of broken promises. 7 Action News reporter Amira David is taking action for you tonight and she joins us live now from Ypsilanti. Amira? Well, Carolyn, I want to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. This is the backyard. Simply put, it steps away from the home. It's now reduced to weeds and dirt. It was once all fresh green grass that their kids were playing on. Now it's quite an eyesore. It's been this way for a while, and that's why the family wrote into us for help. I mean, we like enjoying parks, but we, it would be great to enjoy your backyard. Stephanie Sonicson says she's been forced to take her kids and dog to a park simply to play on the grass. And they said that they were going to put a pipeline in and they would come back as soon as they were finished to replace our yard. Wolverine Pipeline Company, which owns the easement on her family's property, had every right to do the work. But the backyard she says she was told would be speedily restored has yet to be completed nearly a year later. You don't want to go outside. My children are usually in the backyard playing football, soccer. We have slip and slides. They've had no backyard whatsoever. Equally frustrating is the dying grass, which Sonicson says is the result of a sprinkler system broken during the construction. The company told her it would all be fixed in April, then in June. And they've said they've been behind schedule. They'll be here. We're next on the list and it just it's the same story over and over again. Sonicson says she feels like she's getting nowhere. I'm hurt and frustrated that we are not asking for compensation. We just want the company to come in and do what they told us they were going to do. Now we did put a call out to the company and they did apologize for the hold up. They said Wolverine Pipeline understands the family's frustration and agrees that due to weather and other factors, this has taken much longer than it should. We will do whatever it takes to resolve the situation as soon as possible. Now the spokesperson tells me he hopes this entire thing is wrapped up this week, but of course we're going to stay on top of it to make sure that we get resolved for this family, hoping that instead of looking out their window and seeing dirt and weeds, they can see some fresh green grass once again. For now in Ypsilanti, Amira David, 7 Action News. Wow, in a week. Let's hope so. What about that dying grass out there, Mira? Did they say they're going to fix that and replace all that dying grass? They did. We, we did press them on that issue. They said every inch of the dying grass will be replaced. The question is when all of this is going to begin. Like I said, they said they're going to expedite the price, the process, but it's up to us to stay on top of them to make sure, of course, that they do. So we're going to press on. Back to you. All right, we'll hold their feet to the fire. I know you will, Amira. Thank you so much. And we want you to know at home, Amira's story comes to us from a viewer tip. If you have something you want us to look into, shoot us an email to tips at WXYZ.com or give us a call at 248-827-9252. Stephen? I think that family ought to ask for compensation.